Welcome to the sun-kissed beaches and the hustling streets of Miami, a city once bubbling with life and unbridled economic growth. However, the vibrant hues of this bustling metropolis are gradually dimming. Miami-Dade County witnessed a startling dip in its population, losing approximately 79,535 residents through net migration from 2020 to 2022. Amidst an apparent economic boom, the region experienced its first population decline in decades, offering a peculiar paradox of thriving economic indicators juxtaposed with dwindling residential numbers. As economic prosperity often draws people into cities, why then is Miami witnessing a decrease despite positive economic data? Critical factors, such as escalating costs of living, soaring rent prices, and stagnating salaries, are pushing residents to seek alternatives. Today, we delve into Miami's current predicament, exploring the intricate web linking economic variables and population dynamics. Stick with us as we voyage through Miami's stunning past and navigate through its present complexities unraveling stories of its decline and hypothesizing the future that awaits this iconic city. But before we move forward, click that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. This channel will keep you updated on the most intriguing videos on economic topics around the world. The perplexity is underscored by reports indicating nearly 80,000 residents departing the country during what was seemingly a boom in the pandemic years. This decrease marked the first population drop over multiple years for Miami-Dade County since 1970. Prior to this, the population has been generally increasing. The real estate market has witnessed a significant surge, with rent prices in Miami alone skyrocketing by a staggering 49.8% in 2021. Since June 2020, Miami has experienced a 53% surge in home prices, ranking it second in the top 50 metropolitan housing markets, just behind Tampa. The exacerbating housing and living costs have not only cast a shadow over the residents, but have also provoked many long-timers and natives to depart or plan departures due to poor urban planning and the high cost of living. The escalating housing prices are a double-edged sword. On one side, they benefit the sellers and landlords. On the opposite, they place a hefty financial burden on buyers and renters, making it particularly difficult for the middle and lower income households to cope with the spiraling living costs. There are implications that these conditions are largely due to a sizzling housing market and perhaps inadequate urban planning. Miami's economy has traditionally been buoyed by a thriving tourism sector. However, the inflation and the subsequent rise in general living costs threaten the affordability and attractiveness of the city as a tourist destination, which may indirectly affect local businesses, especially those that heavily rely on tourist spending. Between 2020 and 2022, over 10,000 jobs within the tourism sector evaporated as the city grappled with global downturns and changing travel patterns. This sector alone contributes over $18 billion annually to Miami-Dade County, highlighting the profound economic implications of its downturn. The strain on local businesses, stemming from both the dwindling residents and tourist populations, is palpable. Local businesses, the heartbeat of Miami's community, are staggering under these economic pressures. With three in five small businesses signaling financial distress and almost a quarter facing potential closure, the once vibrant entrepreneurial spirit of the city is being severely tested. With less foot traffic and reduced customer spending, many local businesses may face declining revenues, which could potentially lead to closures and layoffs, further straining the economy. On one hand, the region is experiencing a blossom of ultra-wealthy demographics, while on the other, it's witnessing an exodus of its middle and lower income residents, leading to an apparent economic decline. The Miami metro area is home to 30 full-time resident billionaires, highlighting a pronounced wealth concentration. A report reveals that the top 1% of earners in Miami take home an income 45 times larger than the other 99%. The inequality is notable, being ranked as the nation's second worst. Meanwhile, Florida as a whole ranks 49th for income inequality in the US, which is much worse than the national average, and only better than New York. In 2021, Miami's income inequality was quantified as 0.513, according to the Gini calculation of the wage distribution. This measurement signifies a notable disparity considering that a Gini index of zero represents perfect equality, while an index of one implies maximal inequality. Income inequality had experienced a slight decline of 0.289% from 2019 to 2020, indicating a marginal improvement, yet not substantial enough to bridge the noticeable gaps. The city has also been grappling with a myriad of infrastructural and quality of life issues, with traffic woes being notably prominent. 
Miami has notably been responsive to the backlash from the public regarding the city's traffic and transit challenges, with transportation officials reportedly making improvements to the service. Nonetheless, the existing public transit infrastructure has often been deemed as limited, leading to substantial traffic issues that permeate daily life in the city. A direct consequence of this infrastructural challenge is the exacerbation of traffic conditions. Limited public transit alternatives often push individuals to utilize personal vehicles, resulting in heightened traffic congestion, increased travel times, and subsequent socioeconomic implications. The lack of efficient and expansive public transportation has a multifaceted impact, not only on the mobility within the city, but also reverberating through aspects like employment accessibility, environmental quality, and the overall urban living experience. Last year, drivers in Miami were stuck in traffic for 105 hours. This is more than two times the national average, set at 51 hours. Congestion has worsened as well, with peak speeds during congested periods having dropped from 34 miles per hour in 2021 to 25 miles per hour in 2022. Moreover, the financial toll of these traffic jams on Miami drivers is significant, averaging $1,733 annually. Interestingly, this is more than the cost of commuters in London, the top-ranked city for congestion where it costs them only $1,377 each year, despite greater congestion. The traffic predicament is not isolated, but interlinked with various other quality of life issues, permeating through the socioeconomic strata of Miami's inhabitants. For instance, the limited accessibility to reliable public transport disproportionately affects lower income populations, often restricting their mobility and thereby their access to job opportunities, education and essential services. Moreover, the dense traffic and restricted mobility influence the economic functionality of the city. Businesses might find the transport of goods delayed due to the clogged roadways, while the employees may face challenges in punctuality, indirectly impacting productivity and economic output. The consequential environmental impact as a byproduct of vehicle emissions further deteriorates the quality of air, posing health risks and diminishing the overall quality of life. When exploring other facets of life quality in Miami, housing and public safety emerge as pivotal themes. Housing, possibly intertwined with the complexities of affordability, accessibility and quality, surely casts a significant impact on the residents' quality of life. Similarly, public safety and resiliency against both human-made and natural adversities define a city's livability. In totality, addressing Miami's economic decline demands an intricate, multidisciplinary approach that navigates through its infrastructural challenges and quality of life issues. Policies and strategies thereby need to be envisaged with a lens that encompasses not only the immediacy of traffic and transit improvements, but also integrates a sustainable, inclusive and holistic development model. In the context of global events like the COVID-19 pandemic, Miami has encountered multifaceted economic and social challenges that have inadvertently shaped its current circumstances. The pandemic notably impacted global migration, affecting international relocation and inducing significant implications for global social change. While migrants make up a significant portion of populations in many advanced economies, their movements were severely restricted during the pandemic, causing ripple effects in local economies, particularly those like Miami's, which have historically been shaped and bolstered by migrant populations. In locations like Miami-Dade, long-standing quality of life issues such as housing affordability, traffic congestion, and wage disparities could potentially interplay with these migration trends fostering an environment that nurtures business growth, meanwhile, could attract investments and create jobs, potentially drawing people back into their area. Simultaneously, considering the global perspective, policies that facilitate smoother migration processes could aid in rejuvenating local economies, ensuring that migrant populations have the resources and supports they need to contribute effectively to their new communities is paramount, given their substantial impact on growth and inequality in both their origin and destination locales. The economic ebbs and flows of Miami, Florida beg a pressing question that resonates across the United States. Is this a trend seen in other US cities? Miami has witnessed an intriguing dichotomy of booming prosperity amidst a surprising population decline and marked inflation. Yet, this is not an isolated phenomenon. Various cities across the nation reveal similarly contrasting narratives, where economic upsurges paradoxically coincide with resident exodus and mounting living costs. Cities grapple with maintaining a delicate balance, ensuring that the allure of prosperity does not inadvertently marginalize the wider populace by elevating costs and diminishing affordability. The Miami case study thus unfolds a broader, national dialogue, prompting cities to introspect how to harmoniously intertwine growth and inclusivity, 
ensuring that the tidal waves of economic buoyancy do not erode the foundational demographics. As viewers digest the tales of Miami, it is imperative to ponder, critically analyse and proactively engage in dialogues shaping the future urban landscapes that flourish economically while nestling all societal strata securely. We hope this video gave you a comprehensive understanding of Miami's situation. Let us know in the comments of your thoughts and opinions. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth content.